okay if you open business rule our business rule was z sony sale this one okay you can see one role config key is assigned here I'll open same business role in web UI also. Hello. And today we will see DSP component workbench. Through DSP component workbench, we can configure the work area page. In that only we will use role config key. Open any work area page that you want to configure. Suppose I am opening one account management, individual account. You can open lead page, opportunity page, quotation page, any page. Okay. Open any work area page and press F2. I pressed F2. When you press F2, F2, you'll get the technical data about this page. Means how this page is created or how this page is configured. We need only two things from this page that I'll note it down. First thing we need UI component. Note it down somewhere. Second thing we need that is view. Where is the view? This is the view. Just note it down. Okay. Close this. Now I'll open the same page in the back end. But before that, I'll configure because this page we can configure through BSP component workbench. So if you want to configure any page through BSP component workbench, first configure role config key. Why? Because whatever the changes you will do in that page, suppose you have made the uh, pin code number mandatory. So that configuration will get saved in this role config key. Lastly, when we assign that role config key to our business role, we can see the changes. And why it is required to configure first role config key? Because in between somewhere in the process of configuring the VSP component workbench, it will ask for role config key. So we have to keep one role config key ready before going into VSP component workbench. VSP component workbench we need to make role config key first ok so first I'll make one role config key our role config key is this one this one this is the symbol of default so We'll make a new one. Okay. 
same path below define navigation bar profile only spro img crm ui framework technical role definition define Find role con fifty. Okay. Select this. Copy as. This is our which is assigned there. Copy as. Give some name Z one two suppose. Description. One two is already there. Something else we we'll take. Okay, one three. Save it and enter. It's done. Now we'll go to BSP component workbench. Path for that. Now we will go to BSP path. spro img crm ui framework ui framework definition access bsp component workbench or t code is also there close this ui framework ui framework definition access bsp component workbench select note down t code also bsp wd underscore cmp wd bsp wd cmp wd component workbench When you log, when you come to this uh, BSP component workbench, it is asking for component. Component we have already noted down. See, copy this, paste it here. Okay, click display. Now we'll go to views. Views also we have already noted down. Which view? DP underscore slash account detail. Find out the same view. Yeah, this one. Double click. Go to configuration. See, you can see the same page which we have seen in the web UI. Click copy configuration. Will not make the changes in the standard one. copy configuration yes see it is asking for role config key that's why we have configured first z13 i'll give enter again enter okay see it is open now now Very simple change I'll make here. Any field which you want to configure, press down Alt button and click that field. Suppose I want to configure this first name. I'm pressing Alt, click it. Once, so you will get the field properties. And see, it is mentioned here also. To get field properties, hold on Alt and click the field. Okay. So see, this is first name. I'll what I'll do? I'll make it. Suppose name one, okay? And this is mandatory. If you don't want, you can remove it. Okay? Display only means if you check it, 
it will become only for display you cannot edit here you cannot enter anything so this will only for display so show label means this box if you remove this this box will not appear the only the field will come okay this is at the row 3 see here row 3 if you want to change the position you can give some new row 4 5 whatever you want what is label column a to c a to c suppose you can you know, want to make it uh, suppose b see what will happen apply it will become small so like that you can do if you want make it a again then field column field column is this one where we can type something it is d to h see here it is d to h starting from d ending at h so you can make a short also if you want apply c d to g so like that we can do some changes again apply so we have made it name one any field if you want to remove suppose you don't want Nelson ID select cancel this first cancel it Yeah, yeah, 